Hey everyone, welcome to our fifth one-on-one eBay consult session. I'm here today with Gary, but before we start, I want to explain everyone that just first time watch this video, what is this one-on-one session all about? And how do you uh, apply to be on the next session with me? So the, in this one-on-one sessions, what I'm doing, I'm going uh, through uh, your business. Today I'll go to the business of Gary, help you build your business plan, answer all your questions. And the goal that after this session, you will be confident and ready with a, a plan uh, to take the next few steps and build your successful business. So before we get started, if you want to be on this on the next session it's very simple all you need you to do is to subscribe to the channel comment in the comment section below hashtag ebay consult and in the next session i will announce the winner uh, sorry so um uh, who is the winner for the next session from last week and the winner is you can look here on the side is bryant Run. You are the winner. All you need to do is to go to the live chat support in the website of Zeek Analytics and contact us and we will uh, uh, book with you the session for the next week. Number one, understand the market. Number two, understand the product. All right, Gary, we're good to go. Thank you so much for coming here today. I truly appreciate it. Before we're getting started, you can, of course, introduce yourself. And yep, let's go. Hey, Nahar. First, thank you so much for doing this. You, you're just awesome, man. Uh, I'm in North Carolina in the US, and uh, I've been playing around with uh, e-commerce for, for a long time. I've been... Uh, a VA for several Amazon sellers. And over the last 15 years or so, I've sold for other people on eBay, gone out, took their pictures, did their listings, did everything for them here locally. And, uh, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money at that. And so I decided I'd try it myself. And I just, kind of goofed around. I even bought the Zeke Analytics Extreme back in October, but I just didn't really do what I should have been doing. And then the more I kept watching your videos about, I'd say about two, two and a half weeks ago, I really got interested in the Amazon uh, to eBay part. And I started really studying your videos and just in the last two weeks, I've had, I can't know, I don't know exactly how many sales. It's been more than I've ever sold. And I'm selling about, right now, two to three, sometimes five or six items a day now. So your training is awesome. And Thank you so much. I'm very happy. Thank you for sharing with us your story. Um, so, like I said, we're going to just, you know, go directly to do business. You'll share your screen. My goal is to make you today, um, to, to make you ready today. So after this session, you are good to go. You know exactly what you need to do, how to move your business to the next step, how to build a, a stable stream of income and how to make it to, to you know, to a full stream of income every month. This is the goal, right? To be financial free and yes. to be able to make full income out of it. Right. Right Perfect. now, I, the government helps pay a lot of my stuff because I'm in a wheelchair. But the way things are, I don't know if I can rely on the government. So I need to get off of that, you know, and be able to support myself. Definitely, definitely. In the end, we all have to, to be able to, to also for the money, also for our confidence, for our own feeling, you know, it's also right. very important. Right. All right, so great. Uh, let's, uh, you can share your screen. Let's move on and let's, uh, let's see how, uh, how, you, how are you doing with your business and how you can improve it. Sounds great. Perfect. I see your screen. I just request remote control here. Perfect. Okay. Done. There. All right, so we are inside. So what I will do, I will go through your uh, seller hub a little bit through the 
matrix here I maybe ask qu qu quick questions to get to know your business better so I can see here uh, that uh, you don't have sales every day but you definitely have a uh, few days sales and other day more or less let's uh, scroll down to see um, I want to see here how many active listings you have so you have 46 active listings you listed in the last two weeks right correct okay what are your limits you know what we are actually we are here we can just see that let's let's scroll down to see your limits to see if you can list more in general oh yeah all right so you have high oh you have very high limits this is an old account what well my account is 17 years old wow this is amazing so you have in generally you have uh, already an advantage usually the old me, accounts have better ranking Easier let me tell you how i got this i only had a hundred uh maybe two months ago and the very first video i watched to yours you said keep calling them keep calling them well i would call sometimes they say no i'd call right back and they'd say yes and they'd say, well, you got to wait a month. But I just, like you said, I just wait a week and I call back. And if that person would say no, I'd call back until someone, and, but, you know, they would say you have to list more. So I was using auto DS and just listing whatever my limit was, even though none of it was selling, but at least they saw it was up there. And I, it probably didn't take even... A month and a half to go from 100 to 14,000. Wow, this is amazing. Great, great information, Gary, that uh, you share it because, you know, people need this push. And, and I'm glad you were like taking it serious and keep calling and keep pushing. This is how we do business. This is how we push forward for anything we want to do in life, I think. Yeah, well, Perfect. I didn't even know about that. I guess my account's 17 years old. And up until two months ago, my limit was like 100. And then, like I said, that video of yours said, keep calling, keep calling, keep calling. And it works. Yeah, yeah. I think in general, you know, about everything we do, we always have to test the limits. It's like, you know, even though whatever the government, whatever eBay or any other 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 uh, uh, cooperation or, or anything are telling us something we should always test the limit see if we can get more if we can do more and not just say yes to everything all right also i'm really nice to them i ask how they're doing and how their day is going and all that kind of stuff and i think that helps a lot too yes of course we always there is always someone in the other side of the phone and it's a human like us you have emotions and he's and the I use their name too. When they tell once they tell me their name, I, I keep using their name. And that I think that helps. You're very clever, Gary. You're very, very clever. It's oh, a great I, tips, guys, for watching. Take take every word Gary say here because You're a great definite. teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. So we have high limits, very good. This is one thing. Second thing I see here, you have uh, uh, some tracking upload on time and validate right. only twenty seven percent. What is the reason for this? Well, I'm using Amazon to eBay, All right. and it takes them several days to give you the actual tracking number. And I think that's part of the problem. And how many, time hand, how many days handling time you have right now? I, I'm pretty sure it's just two. All right. All right, so you can play with it, see maybe it can be the Amazon tracking numbers, which can be, uh, we discussed it before, which can be... Um, converted to Blooker Express and the second thing maybe to increase at least in one day just to the current situation you know be on top of it see if it's getting better decrease it again okay good advice all right and um, let's oh, also Nahar even yes. though I have 15 or 14,000 uh, listings that I can use I'm only on the $1,000 plan right now because to jump up to the next one it's Three hundred dollars a month, and I'm just not at a place where you I can don't need spend to do that it. Much. You don't need. You you definitely don't need. I think the information is here. Let's take a look. So right now you are here on the where is this premium store subscription? Very good. You don't need more than this. You are definitely good with this subscription. To be honest, you could actually stay without store subscription right now because you have forty six items until you get to one hundred twenty active listings, one hundred forty active listings. 
it's actually um, uh, you can stay on uh, without subscription at all but if you already have it it's also fine it's not a problem uh, it's also and I like actually to do it it's put you under pressure and this is personally when I do business I like to put myself under pressure I like to you know I like to to buy this discipline with money you know to know like okay I put I put money down now I know I have to deliver otherwise I lose I and personally right. I like to, to be the same I like to first if I decide to do something I will go and I will purchase the software I need and I will put all the money in advance in even though I don't make income yet because it's make me more commitment committed to the to the uh, process so it's all right to be like this let's take a look a bit on um, how long how many hours or how many time you spend per day on um, on a uh, product research to find products I, right now I'm using the turbo scanner okay and so that only takes a few seconds I use the settings you gave us the 150 15 and 4 on under sales um, a hundred percent sales through, uh, 50% was that success? I think it is 15, no more than 15 competitors and at least four items sold. Um, so then it lists all the, you know, brings up all of the Amazon listings and I just go through and check off all the ones that seem interesting to me I'm, I'm not selling a bunch of like beauty stuff or women's stuff i'm selling mostly household stuff um outdoor equipment uh you know mostly household goods and outdoor what, what is the reason why do you stick only to this type of products i'm just curious to know because well now i i, I learned the difference uh on your last on the last one-on-one -on -one you did i was just trying to stay within a niche of outdoor stuff but now i see where you say that there's no need to do that so i am going to start listing other products as well All that's right. what i have been doing okay and then using the bulk upload oh bulk uploader and then going through after i do that and use the uh Zeke Analytics with the product research against other eBay sellers, prices, profit, and you know, picking out the ones that seem seem successful, and uh, that's what I've been doing. And then I'm I think I may be spending too much after I get all my products. Uh, I spend like maybe an hour on each one fixing the the listings, and I don't know if that's you know, by fixing images. I mean, I really do a lot of work on the images. And then I do my titles and my listing and my descriptions and stuff. And I'm not sure if I'm taking too much time on that or not. Okay. I have a lot of HTML stuff. And I know you said don't worry about a lot of HTML, but uh, maybe after you look at it, you can. Yeah, we're going to dive in the, the listings in a couple of minutes. And let me just sum up what you say about the product research. Let's break it down to product research and listing optimization, just to make it clear so I understand everything clear. So you use the, the turbo scanner, you get list of products from there, you filter everything based on the niche. You list it to, to uh, AutoDS as a draft, right? right? Right. And then you go one by one and filter out the best ones. And just then you optimize them and list them to your store. Right. I, I upload them on to the bulk uploader on auto ds as a scheduled upload like yes. for the next day and then mm -hmm. once they're all on there then i go through and work on them and then make them live okay so first of all i want to say two things first of all number one it's very good you build a system okay i don't say if this is the right system or this is a, 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 a efficient system or not generally you build a system that means you wo your mind walking away you like to take things you like to build a system out of them. this is from my opinion this is what every business man every uh, business owner should always do he, will, he should look for every uh, uh, task what are the targets and then build the process so you build your own process and this is very well done because that means you um, uh, 
you have the ability to do it. A lot of people work without any process. And this is the main problem. They don't have any process. They sit on the computer and they just randomly pick products and they're just very messy. So very good that you have a, a process, you have a, a system. What I want to do in this, um, in this session today, I want to give you more systems. So I, want, I want you to try other systems and I will explain you why. Right now, because you're just getting started, it, it is very important to have a very high sell to it. So it's very important to have more sales than active listings. And you're not, okay. you're not in a rush. You, can, you have the time to pick the right products, to do the product research. You know, it's better you pick the first 20, 30, 40 products to be hot selling like crazy than just list bulks or list a lot and spend time for optimization but you actually didn't pick the right product. So you spend a lot of time on optimization, but on the wrong products, okay? Got it, makes sense. It's like to think, uh, we've, we talked about it before, uh, uh, you've been in the army. It's like we, we, when we do product research, mainly in the beginning, like right now, we are like snipers. We need to think like snipers, okay? Right. We can't miss the target. This is the attitude should be. We can't, every product we find in the beginning need to be, High demand product, sorry, I will uh, hang off here. High demand product and a low competition and the lowest competition is possible. And even though you already have high limits, it's all right. We are not in a rush, okay? Okay. So I will just demonstrate you the process, okay? I want, to, I want you to, to, uh, to really uh, uh, look, go, look carefully now, see exactly all the steps. I'll try to be as clear as possible and also try to ask me any question uh, uh, if I mean, ask me any question if you don't understand any, if you don't understand. So okay. I'll open Zeek, okay? And in generally, I want to try, I want to build a system. I want to build a process of product research, which is for one side, very efficient. I find very good products. From the other side, I spend as less time as possible. Okay. okay. Going through the Turbo Scanner is um, it can it will spend a lot of time i mean you can definitely do it okay you can definitely use it but it used mainly it, it built in a way which it's uh, it, it it's used for people who bulk uploading people that need to find a lot of products they don't have the time to put uh, into one-on-one -on -one product research and okay. the reason is uh, the the difference is yes that yes turbo scanner can bring you very good products but by the end of the day you, if you will take it to your own hands, you will always be much better than any other computer, any other program. Okay. okay. Because yeah. doesn't matter how good is the software, uh, the human uh, eye, the human brain is just better than any program out there. Got it. So, so let me give you here the idea. So first of all, and I guess you also watched in the videos, you want to build competitors list. So you want to find very good competitors to follow. Okay. Right. A good competitor is a competitor which make a good sales, have a good sell to rate, work with high profit margins. So you have room uh, to, to uh, be profitable as well when you start to look for products uh, in his store and, and optimize his titles. This is what you're looking for. So you have different ways. You can, of course, just, you know, uh, uh, open Amazon. You, I probably, you probably saw it in one of the videos. One second, and just look for one of the best sellers here. So we just randomly go here to to best sellers. All right, let's just you just pick. I, I have a I have a quick link to it underneath of e-commerce. Okay, you can click on it. So just just click on it, open it. All right, perfect. So let's, I will just grab random product here. So we can just take this product. I guess many dropshippers are selling this product right now. And we just, you know, just copy this part of the title. I have to get to, I have to get start somewhere. If you already have sellers, you don't need to do this process. You, you already have where to start. You know, if you already follow competitors that dropship from Amazon to eBay, you already uh, uh, have a place to start with, okay? Uh, but if you just started from scratch, or sometimes I also just like to, you know, I don't like to start every day the same in my product research because it, it, you will see that when you do every day the same process, you end up 
following the same competitors on the, all the time. So sometimes you need to go out of your of your zone to to you know find new things. But but usually when you already have one competitor, it will lead you to many other competitors. So let's see here the example. And I want to I want to detail uh, uh, to give you the details and explain you exactly uh, what. what that is a mistake I've been doing. I haven't been giving a competitor list. Yes, you, not, you went directly to Tuboscanner. Right. But it's all right. I mean, it's, it's our nature. It's all, our nature is always to try to find the faster way, but sometimes the faster way is not the best way. Or sometimes the faster way is not the real faster way. Because what you did, yes, you find group of products very fast on Tuboscanner, but then you spend a lot of time on, on the process to, to filter them and choose the good, the good ones. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, so I'll scroll down here, and I when I look for for competitors, I ignore the statistic. It doesn't matter. I'm looking for competitors. This box here interests me. Okay. Right. Now we, I just want to see what, for how much the product selling here. It's selling for thirty four ninety nine here on on Amazon. This guy here with seventeen feedback sell it for forty eight ninety nine. This guy here from Vietnam, f uh, five feedback sell it for forty two ninety nine. Now. As a sniper, as a, as a, as a um, detective, you need to look details for you. Look, you need to look on all the small uh, signs that you get here. For example, when you see international seller, what what that means? What that's saying to you? What it says to you? He's a drop shipper. And what else? That he probably has a good price. I'm getting it at a better price, maybe. You are you are located in the United States, right? Yes. You have you a U.S. PayPal account. Right. You're selling to most of the sales to U.S. customers. Actually, this last week, I've sold probably 10 things to people in Puerto Rico. They keep buying my stuff. All right. All right. But it's still a, it's still a part. I, I would consider it part of the U.S. market. Okay? Yeah. Yes, my point is. here is my point here is that this guy from Vietnam, he have he have Vietnamese PayPal account. He pay higher fees than you. Okay. So it will be much easier for you to take uh, uh, your, your U.S. business as advantage because you will be able to price the product lower than international, international sellers, okay? okay? Okay, So this is a small thing that can help you save a lot of time because you know, all right, as a U.S. seller, I have a big advantage of international seller. I have 2% advantage of international seller and I want to take this advantage. I want to I use it for my own good, okay? Okay. So I will just open them here. You can go through all of them, open them, because here there is not much much sales. Usually I will look on the amount of sales, selling price, try to find out some very good seller. But right now I'll just open randomly uh, most of them, okay? You can, of course, start from checking the international sellers, because as I said, it's an advantage for you. And then we okay. just you know go through them and see, okay, who is this seller? So take a look on this Vietnamese. You have 72 active listings, 35 sold items, $1,000. Now I want to ask you a question. When you look on this seller, what do you see? Uh, I see that his sell-through rate's not that high. Well, so it's high, I guess. Yeah, That's it's good. It's pretty good. good. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of active listings, and he's selling about... 18 got a 30 average his feedback score is pretty pretty low yes um and i guess that's about all i can that i can see do you see something familiar when you look on this no <laughs> this seller is basically it's like to look in the mirror it's very similar to you okay Oh, the number of active listings. Yes, the number of active listings and active of sale. He has very good sell rate. And, and this is one good seller to follow. Why? Because yes, it's not a crazy seller with a lot of listings, but it's a seller in the beginning. He's just getting started and he's doing something right. This is what you want to look for. You want to look for the guys that are doing something right. It's good to have sellers in our level with just getting started. But hey, this guy, it's like I'm now here teaching you what to do. You know, watching this right. seller here, 
It's the same like watching my training, uh, uh, watching me teaching you right now. It's exactly the same. You have all the information here under the lines. You can see which product he sell, how he build his title, what the pricings he use. We can check out soon what the competition of the product he sell. And basically we can learn everything about him. So you look for, a seller, you look for sellers that you want to learn from them. This is the attitude. I want to find seller. I can learn something from them. If this seller is just getting started and you have this performance, I wouldn't be, uh, 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 I would be happy to also have the same performance. If I would you, I would be happy to have the same performance. And then okay. it's a good seller. I'll save him to the list. Ah, uh, I never noticed that little add to watch list. That, I was wondering how you said make list. I've never noticed that button before. Yeah, you can just hit it here. You can save him. You can give him a comment. I just write you with you. Uh, uh, let's just write here with you. Uh, eBay consult. So you have it. Okay. And we can give it like, I wouldn't give it five. I give it three stars because it's still not so good, but it's a good seller for someone in your stage. Definitely. Okay. Okay. So you have it in the list. You can go later here to the uh, management panel, my competitor list. You can watch him. You can, if you, if you do some work on him, you can always update the dates. You like, I already see you like system. So the system I would give you is to build a seller list, a good seller list and to check them, you know, on daily basis. So everything you find a good seller, uh, sorry, every time you, you going through the seller, let's say once a week, once a two weeks, you go through him. So what you can do is, uh, um, you can have like, all right, this is the seller we saved. So you've been searching the seller now. No problem. You edit and you add here like last scanned and you put the date. Okay. Cool. And then next week you will know when was the last time. And then like this, oh. you can, you can always, you can, you can have the system. Okay. Thanks. That's great advice. Perfect. So right now what I want, what I want you to do is to think like we say, like a sniper and to really look for the best of the best. You want to find products with high sales. So yes, this is a good seller. Five sales last 30 days. It's okay. But I want to find product with more sales and low competition. Now I don't say, okay, give up on this product, but let's check it out. Let's see how many competitors this product has. One second. It's on all location. All right. Doesn't matter. Okay. Here we have 96 competitor on this title. Let's try to do the search again in the United States. See how many we get. You have 54 competitors. This product is not for you. You don't want to, to do it. Okay. You don't want to work with it. Okay. One thing that can help you to save the time is in the Zik booster here. You can uh, change to country United States save. You should see it somehow. It's not working currently. I don't know why we'll check it out, but you can see here the number of competitors. And if you don't see, you can just hit one time the button and you will see. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's look on the other seller we found here. One second. This seller. Mm, this seller is very beginner as well. Let's check out the next. All right. This Israeli seller here. All right. So the seller itself is not so good. Okay. Right. But it doesn't mean I cannot find good products. So, okay. The statistic is not good. I may not save him to my store, but this first product here that sold 17 times, in the last 30 days, it's interesting. So I want to check it out. I want to go and see, okay, how many people are selling this product? Oh, take a look. One, two, three, four, only five people with the same title and right. use a short title. Okay. So here you have advantage here. This is what you want to look for. You want to look for the products that selling so much in the last 30 days. Okay. The higher, the better, and that have very low competition. So five, it's very low. 10 right. is what normally what we're looking for, but because you're just getting started, I would say, you know, be very strict, say five, four, three, even, you know, be very, very strict. Okay. Okay. First 10 product need to sell like crazy. Then you will build, you will slowly, slowly will be able to, to widen the range because your store will have a strong ranking. It will be easier for you to compete. Okay. Now, yes. I want to give you here, I want just to go to eBay. Okay. And I want to show you something. I want to show you uh, why it's so important to compete with, with low competition seller. So let's just go here, put it here with low competition, competition product. Sorry. 
Okay, so here we have to put on by now. And we have to put on United States, US only. All right, so we get here. Uh, here we can see seven results. I guess there are some filters in Zeek which are not here, but I, I will not spend time looking on the filters. Anyway, imagine person looking for this product, okay? For either you search for the specific branded product, the Cormac, the Cormax Smart, okay? Okay? Or yeah. Total Body Workout or, or something, but probably here I guess he look for this specific product, okay? The Cormax for this brand product. So, Imagine people are searching it, searching it, and they come here. Right. Now they need to choose a product. So imagine, let's say 100 people per month or 200 people per month searching for this product. They come in here. They, they need to pick from this product. $98 too expensive because this guy is selling for 86. Actually, you know what? There are also different products here. These are these are different. Let's scroll down to see what we see here. 249, and this already not under this result. This is just matching, but they are not under this result. Right. So. So if you are able to bring your listings here to have a better price, a better picture, a better title, you will be the one that will get the traffic. You understand? So, right. so this is the whole idea behind it. It's just to, in the beginning at least, to be very precise, very accurate, and pick this product because this product will get you sales. This product will generate you the money. Okay, now let's just check out here because we cannot see the picture here. What what product is guy selling here? All right, this listing. All right, so he sell this one. Yeah, so he 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 was selling it here for one hundred and one dollar. It's already ended, okay. And when we looked inside eBay, we also looked in Zik. By the way, here we see that there is only two. These are different uh, type, okay. So right. our competition is only these two ones. Only two, one very expensive. 186 so you have to go to amazon now you know this process i don't need to show you right. or you want me to show it to you well other people might want to see it all right so so let's just do it so one second i got a bit lost here so what you can do here there are different ways you can either click the button the red uh, uh, button here and you have a shortcut to search title on amazon okay and yeah, here is the product selling for $69.99. Oh, Look how wow. much room you have for profit. Yes. Definitely. And now what you can do is you can look on the different products. And what I personally like to do, I would use this product, this picture, by the way. Okay. I would use this picture. Um, I, like to, I like to not choose the same picture uh, other competitors use. I always like to stand out, you know, to create some, some interaction. But sometimes, sometimes I use the same when I see, okay, there are people who actually uh, 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 making very good conversion rate with a, a lot of sales with a the picture. Then I try to take the same picture, but tweak it a little bit. We'll talk about optimization later. I also see this product here is out of stock. Okay. Right. So yeah, this specific one is not the perfect example, but we found it. We see that there is room. Second things, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, if, if we found such a good product, okay, mm -hmm. it's a very good product that we found, right? Where is right. the, uh, wait a second, I'm looking for the surgery. It's a very good product and it's out of stock in Amazon. So what, what it, what does, what does it mean to you? If it's out of stock here and there I are some people on huh? Google to see if I can find it somewhere else. Exactly. Because if it's out of stock here, other dropshippers can't get it. And okay, I don't say spend now a lot of time looking for this product, you know, but try to figure out maybe other supplier like Walmart or, or Best Buy or maybe someone actually, maybe the brand itself selling it, you know, who knows? Maybe you can really get it for a better price. And then it's not that there is low competition. There is no competition. Right, right. A few of my best selling products went out of stock in Amazon. All my competitors stopped selling them. Back in the days, they stopped selling them. What I did, I looked in Google and I found them on other suppliers. And then I was the only one that's selling them and it became an evergreen product because I don't have dropshippers who can compete me. They don't put this extra effort. Right. Good idea. But generally what my main message here to you is put attention to details. Low competition, super important. Take your time. The first 50 products can be like this, you know, very, very like precise. You 
your sales will skyrocket. You will see we start make sales on a daily basis, and then once you build this uh, a current stream of sales, you can widen the range. You can start list product with ten competitors. You can start to make niche research, similar products, uh, niche, and so on. And later on, when you let's say reach between five hundred to one thousand listings, and you let's say with twenty thousand dollar in sell twenty thousand dollar sales every month, you can shift to um, to turbo scanner. Combine let's say twenty twenty products per day from the turbo scanner because there there you don't spend any time, you know. And then you can s- a little bit bulk list and so on. But first step. With your store, I'll, go, I'll get back here. With your store, is to have every day these candles. Every day you want to have sales. If I get to twenty thousand sales a month, I'll come over to Cyprus and give you a big old hug. <laughs> I will be very happy to host you here in Cyprus, and I believe you can do it because look, you know how to deal with eBay. You have the systematic mind to build the system. You know now you just need to take my system that I gave you right now here. And you need to adjust it to yourself, and you just you know you have the patience. You put the time on optimizing the listing. You do all these things. You did you, you, the effort and time you put in. You just wasn't. You just didn't put it in eg- exactly on the right way. And it's fine. You know this is how we learn. We. Right. I can tell you if, even about my business in Zik Analytic. I went through a lot, a lot of a lot of of learning and a lot of, of the optimization of of the business and. Uh, The biggest jump that I made in any business I, I did was to figure out what the 20 percent, which bringing me 80 percent of result, and then just take 80 percent of my time and put of this 20 percent, and that's all. This is what you need to do, and you will skyrocket. Great idea, thank you. All right. So, do you have any other questions related to the product research? No, I I really look forward to trying that today. When we get off of this video, it's a great idea. It's, I really am glad you uh, gave me the new way to go. Great, great. So, uh, second things I want you always to 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 put attention right now in the steps you are right now is to take a look in the product you sell. We're going to do it right now, but take the time to analyze the product that you sold. Okay, let's let's go to your um, orders. Okay, let's take a look on the product you sold here. And and I want you to understand why this product sold. It's very important to develop the way, okay, to develop a way, uh, uh, this feeling, this intuition, okay, that you come through this product. Like I told you, I came through this seller here. I came through this product, and I told you already in advance. Listen, if we can get this product, we will make money. Right. Why? Because I build this intuition, and you need to have the same confidence. You need to to in three weeks from today. You need to go through sellers, and you just from the first time you see a product, you already have the feeling. I know, I know, I'm going to sell it. You know, this is where you need to go with your with your uh, uh, understanding of the market of the products. And the I way will. to do it, the way to get there, is by take the time to analyze why product selling. So, are you ready to analyze this product together? Yes. All right. Let's take a look. So we are looking here on. Wow, it sold a lot of times. Yes, it's a good one. It's my best seller. This is your best seller. Shine armor, fortify, quick coat, ceramic coating, Carvax poly spray, waterless. Let's check out why it's your best seller. So what, first things, what I will do, and this is what I like to do. And by the way, I do it for my best sellers. I do it all the time. You will, you will see. You have best sellers that selling on a daily basis, okay, or a weekly right. basis, and suddenly they stop sell. You want to check out why. Maybe new competition. Maybe more people with lower price. Some products are out of the season. You always want to understand what is going on. Okay, so let's go here. Copy this and let's go right now to the product research again. The big sale and uh, the other stuff in that image. I may I did all that extra and made it match the color and everything. One second, where I lost the product. Let's take a look on it. Ah, it's here. See that extra yes. stuff? I I put all that extra stuff on there and made it match. You you made it beautiful. You have the touch for design also. It's beautiful. This is I, usually I don't like when people put stuff, but I didn't even realize. I thought this is how the picture came from Amazon. To be honest with you, this is beautiful. 
if you can continue do it do it but we'll talk about optimization later you need to have also limits you cannot spend now hours okay yeah I, I do spend I think too much time that all the whole list and I probably spent between an hour or two hours just on that one listing it's paid off by the way here it's paid off so now try to imagine what will happen if you pick the right products and on top of it you do this okay then it will be it will explode okay so All I right. don't tell you don't do it at least in the first 50 100 products you want to be super strong so it's good we'll see how we can I, you will show me what you're doing and I will try to help you how to speed up this process maybe give up on some things maybe okay. work with some templates but um, it definitely definitely can uh, help you even be better okay so this is the thing to combine the good quality products high demand low competition very low competition with a very good listings this will you will be unstoppable let's take a look yeah. on this product here so I put a title I'm in the United States I want to see how many people are sending it here see three results yeah. There's a lot more than that, I think. Yeah, there are a lot, but not all of them using the same style of title. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the thing. Competition on eBay is based on the keywords. So maybe some other people sell it in a different name. We're going to check it out right now. I also go, I also want to check out about this. How much you selling it here? One second. So you said it for twenty seven ninety nine, dollars and, and it skips selling or you or it stopped? Let's see the time. No, I... Okay, so yesterday, oh, it keeps selling every day, look. Yes, every day it sells. Perfect, yesterday, wow, so many sales yesterday. Yeah, good. it's a good product for me. Yes. You yes. see, people in Puerto Rico love that, love that stuff. And but you can ship to Puerto Rico, no problem? It's free. Amazon doesn't charge any extra. It takes a month for them to get it, but there's no problems going through Amazon doing it. But it, it takes a month for them to get a tracking number uh, or no, to ship it to? It there. takes a month for them to receive the product. I okay. get the shipping. It takes probably almost a week to get the sh tracking okay. number. Okay, okay. So you, you need to look. You, you get the sales here. I will tell you two reasons. First of all, you get a lot of Puerto Rico because I guess other people are, are excluding Puerto Rico. Okay. And this put you again in a blue ocean, no competition. You are the only one to sell to Puerto Rico. A guy from Puerto Rico come, he write the name of the product. You are all the only one there because you are the only one that's shipping. But you need to do it smartly. So you need to make sure you do it in a way which is not harming your seller performance. So maybe you can create a specific shipping policy for Puerto Rico or something like this because, you know, if this is how long it takes to Amazon, you cannot say two-day handling time. All right? Can I list the same product? twice and then but have it we'll check it now in the shipping policy there is a way to to make some specific specification for per place okay let's, let's um look here on the statistics we ran here all right so i think this oh, that is, top one's me yeah yeah this is you're the best seller there you're the best seller there okay, okay? and you're the best seller here you have a better price from this one this one already cheaper and you sell everywhere and you sell also to Puerto Rico you made a very good listings so if I will just copy this okay just for the test that we are doing I always want to show you on eBay you don't have to go to eBay later but I want you always to show you uh, and you can also do it sometimes because by the end of the day you want to see what the buyer sees you know so it's it's okay to work with software all the time but sometimes when you want to see how your product display and to understand why it works you also want to see it on ebay site let's take it i've look. added oh i'm right at the, up at the top you also have sponsored this is also help you getting sales i guess right, they I did. sponsored i'm doing what you said uh sponsoring between one starting out at one and then like you said a point two not to have the uh round number and but, sponsor, but you have two uh, things which make this win this listing killer for my opinion the picture you made it phenomenal okay you made it amazing it's look like it's not look like look at this guy how bad is the picture mm -hmm. this looks like it's it's naturally there you know it's part of the of the picture and you put also the discount here which attract another sale so overall you made a very good now let's see other people here and and why what's happening so you see the titles here 
are different titles. Right. You did some uh, uh, optimization to the title as well. Right, right, I did. But here we can see other people selling a lot and uh, you, they use different titles, different keywords, um, but prices are all around the same. But always we check competition with titles, okay? Now sometimes, sometimes, we will have product that sell a lot, even there is a lot of co a lot of competition. We can't, you know, we can't explain. Like sometimes you can't explain. Sometimes eBay just put you, put you like give you give you more traffic about a specific product because in general we have to understand they distribute their traffic to everyone. They cannot just say oh only this seller get traffic. Okay. Right. Right. But overall, you can look on the prices here. In generally, you can look on the pictures. You can look on the titles. Look, this guy's using completely different uh, uh, titles here. This completely different product. This is completely different one, different titles. All, also sell a lot, okay? And, right. and sometimes can help me to see what this guy do. So you see this guy do the quantities. Right. right. Which you definitely can add as well. So you can learn from him. He also sold a lot. And at $5 more. So and $5 more. more. So yeah. you can learn and... By the way, this type of product, it's pe product people using, right? They use it and then they need to order again. Right. So usually this type of product, people buying in quantities. So giving deals for quantities for this type of product is definitely good. Okay, I'll definitely do, make that change. All right. So so this is another information we can learn. Okay, let's let's look on other products. Um, but look how important it is to, you know, not get... Not get co confused. Oh, there is many other people are selling the same product. Oh, it's not so low competition. No, what is matter is that when I search this title, I got only three results here. And from these three results, you are the best. Cool. You understand? So when you when you follow, sorry, yeah. I'm thinking I can raise my price a couple dollars and then do the multi discount like that other guy's doing. For example, but I wouldn't change this specific one anymore. Okay. Maybe add the, the bundles, but I wouldn't change no title, no price. It's, it's selling every day. Leave it like this. Right. And just Try add to, the bun. Yeah. And just add the multiple multiple item yes. purchase thing. Yes, yes, yes. Second thing is what you can do is, what you have to do is to solve the Puerto Rico thing. Let's take a look on it right now together. Even though usually I personally exclude Puerto Rico, but I don't say, you know, you don't have to exclude. It's, it's a good business. It brings you money. You just need to have the right policies. Okay, so let's take okay. a look on this. So let's get back here. Let's go back to, to your... So we go here to your business policies. Oh, let me get rid of this for you. Okay. right yes so I will go here to the business policies so you have here business policies here it is and then you will you have to try to figure out I would first of all create unique shipping policy separated shipping policy okay so you okay. just do create policy and you do create shipping policy and then you can name it. You can give it like for the unique product. You can say like, uh, let's say US plus PR, for example. Okay. okay. And now you have different options here. Now this is something we need to, to uh, see what we do. Is we need to make, we need to figure out if there is anything specific we can do here with the shipping. So you have the two to nine, the handling time. So you have here the international shipping. So you do same cost for everyone, apply to Messi. Okay, so here it is. All right, so we found it, we found it. So here you can find Puerto Rico. Let's see if they have it here. Or oh, Puerto Rico, they, they see it part of the United States, right? Right. Let's see, but maybe we can find it. Choose costume location. They don't show it. So you have N and S America. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I wouldn't play with it. I thought we will be able, I wouldn't do it. Okay, so don't, don't try to play with it. What you can do, I suggest you to do here specifically here. 
is to call to eBay and ask them if you can list this product again and, and make only Puerto Rico listings. Okay. With a, and then you just make one shipping policy for this specific product and you have the, one, the other one excluded for Puerto Rico. Got it. Because, okay, it's a lot of sales, but it's not the right way to do it. So I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't okay. keep selling to, to Puerto Rico if I cannot fulfill the order on time. Okay. Okay. So let's don't try to edit here. We need to have a completely separate one. It's not possible to do that way. I was thinking it will be possible maybe, but as we see, it's not possible. All right. Let's get back to your uh, business plan. So, so far with finding products, it's always clear, right? Right. I need to find some that are selling a lot with very few competitors. Yes. Focus on very few competitors, very few competitors, a lot of sales, very few competitors, a lot of sales. And now we're talking about optimization. So let's take a look. Can you take the control now? Please show me from the moment you found a product. Okay. You can show okay. me on one of the product. What are you doing? How, how do you optimize your listings? Okay. I, I optimize my listings. Uh, first I download all the photos and then I go into Google and see if I can find uh, more photos that are different than the ones that I downloaded from Amazon or wherever. And then I also, let me show you one of my listings. Okay. So then we'll just take. If you can also show me. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. So I take the main image that I'm going to use into Photoshop. And like I match this with the colors, fast free shipping. And I put this little plant there. So. I do that in Photoshop, and I also make sure that all the other images have, uh, like if this is, if the background is like gray or something, I get rid of that and put a white background, make them, just make them look get better, make sure they're sharp and uh, all that. And then I, I spend a lot of time, like I find the logo, I put the logo there, um if they have one just okay. to make it look different than everybody else's yes and yes I understand but then i put a different picture there okay and and all of the you know policies and stuff okay and so i'll try to tune you because you do things right you have the touch you have the talent to look it to make it look beautiful which is something not everyone have now it's just to use it in a way which it will be efficient it's not going to spend too much time so let's, I'll take control for a second. Okay. Let's scroll up to the picture. So let's look from the picture number one. First thing, if, for my opinion, okay, it's only again, my opinion, you have to take your own decision. The, the, the main things that catch my eyes here is these little things you add. The, the, you keep the same color, you put the text, you, you made it the same also here. You, you make the, the text here, you know, like the same, uh, let's take a look here, like, you add these things, big sale, 20% off, free shipping. I like it. Keep doing it. What I can suggest you is try to keep this, these things like the, 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 as a template. So here you have it this style. And here on the other product, where was the other product? Well, here I, you change the style to be like this. I do have them in Photoshop. And all I have to do is now just click on the color I want to change. Perfect. And it, you know, it Perfect. just change it. Perfect. It's a layered, yeah. layered image. So add them, put text, this very fast, right? Just add them and put text is very fast, right? Right, right. Keep it. Making whiteboard, white background, how long it takes you to do it? Just a couple clicks. I've got, if Photoshop has a background remover that just gets rid of the ugly stuff. And then I just put in a white, background behind it doesn't take that long all right i would put the the signs first priority then the white background and finish that's it okay what about and the 
little pictures like that plant, I put that plant there. Do I need to do stuff like that? I wouldn't do it because, you know, I, w I will only do it if I couldn't find unique photo that is unique. So let's just take an example, the product we found here, okay? So I saw everyone is using this picture, right? Right. So I say I will use this one. So I will just use this one. I maybe will add the, the, the black and blue signs here like you do it, and that's it. Right. There's no one else using it. Let, but let's say you have a product with only one picture and you come here to the result. Okay, and you come here to the result and you see other, set, other competitors are, uh, you don't have option. The only, only thing you can do is use exactly the same product and the same picture. And it's really, really very good product, you know, very low, low competition, high demand, like fits your old criteria. Right. Then only if it's unique product and only if you don't have other fast solution, then I may add something like this. But only if you don't have other option. Okay. okay. And only if it's very good product, you know, the decision of, on, on, of how much time you spend per listings shouldn't be mandatory for all listings. It should be based on how good, how potentially you think this product is going to sell. Okay, let me show you one more. Okay, I have a bunch of listings on eBay that are bulk up listed, but I haven't had the time to change anything about them. So let me show you one of these and let me ask you a question. Okay, please. Okay, I haven't had it time to edit this one yet. And I haven't done anything for this listing other than bulk upload it. See, so it doesn't, do I, it doesn't even have a description. If no, I, I just, don't have description, it's, I mean, it need to have some. Must be the way, it, uh, maybe it didn't have one or something on Amazon. Okay. But say I only put the description and don't do all that stuff with the pictures and all that in my actual description. Is that okay? Yes, definitely. I wanted to speak about description, the next thing. So description, main title, big, organized, bullet right. points, item specification, that's it. And you don't list product without anything. You shouldn't have product like this in your store. You know? This product, yes. you shouldn't, you, sh you should stop work with bulk listing anymore. You, you list one by one. You find product, you list it, that's it. You go to the next. No bulk okay. listing, okay? So, like, let's look at another one. Let me see. You shouldn't have these products in your store this way. They look without description or, 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 or with a very bad pictures. Okay, here. This is just bulk uploaded like that. Is that all I really need right there? Uh, yes, but not like this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, uh, first of all, when, when you will not upload bulk, okay? When right. you stop with bulk listings, you, the description is not going to look like this. Okay. Inside AutoDS, you have the ability when you upload product one by one, you can um, have, you can set a, a template, fixed template. So you can make right, a template right. with this picture, with the organized text. So, so the text is aligned. It started aligned with this picture. The, okay. the font is bigger. The font for the item specific is bigger. The font here is bigger. You already have the information about shipping, etc. You know, and then you don't spend any time beside adding few keywords to the title here, and that's it. Okay. You should Without spend any time here. You know, just if it's really messy, you add, you you edit a bit, or you just go and you put some keywords, do some small changes. You know, you spend two minutes maximum on description. Okay. And so like this, I put all this on here, the free shipping, uh, guaranteed 100%, and this little man right here. Um, that probably took me an hour because these were really bad pictures. I mean, as a matter of fact, let me show you what I had to start with, what okay. other people are using. Okay, and then tell me if, it was, if it's worth that, yes. much time, that much time. See how ugly the picture is with that all gray background and stuff like that. I got rid of all of that. And, uh, you know, that's what everybody else is using. But there are two things very important in this picture. What's we, that? They put the quantity, you see? Well, I have that in... Uh, 
Well, okay, tell me that. And then what's the other thing? And the second thing, sometimes these pictures like this, which look like someone made this picture in the house, you know? Right. There is something which is a, a real, which is build trust with these pictures. And this okay. is, by the way, I guess the reason they put the cup like this and everything. Yes, they're not the most beautiful. So I wouldn't clean the background or maybe only clean the background, but I wouldn't do anything else beside take this one, one G, 1000 G, make it the style you do it, you know, because you see, you don't have the 1000 G and it's super important to have it. I have that in one of the other images you don't have it oh. in the main picture so it needs to be in the main picture i mean you see what they all did look they all put 1000g you can put 1k 1kg i put it there um in this other picture and i need to have it on the main picture right i'm what taking control i'm taking control to give you some precise okay. example here so let's go back to the results where was the results here yeah so you see quantity is here people are looking for it okay okay this is all right you added it okay so i would if i want to look different i would first of all look what put the people that sell the most here no one's selling anything this product you shouldn't list at all in general but i first look what people sell the most see what they use i want to get i want to rely my decision on facts okay okay but let's say the most selling one is this one the most common one okay Okay. So if this is the most selling one, there is something here. It's it may be some other things like price, but let's say if all price is same, there is something with a picture that attracted oh. something may people. So I'll try to keep I try I'll try to, to think what I can do right now to make it look different, to make it look nice, but to not spend more than five minutes. Okay. So I would just make the one kg to the style you do. So you have here like this nice style. The colors will definitely look much better if this 1kg, uh, 1000g or, or just write 1kg also, you know, but okay. deliver the same message in a nicer way. And I may, be, I, I may keep the glass even, only clean the background and that's it. You know, I try to keep it as simple. I want to look unique. I don't want to spend time. This should be in your mind all the time. What two things I can change to look unique, but to not spend too much time. That's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. No more than 10 minutes on picture. Seriously, no more than 10 minutes. It's 10 okay. minutes. It's already a lot. 10 minutes. I got it. I'll 10 minutes is already a lot. Do it only okay. if it's very good products, you know? Okay. Here, here, this is a great example to, to what we talked before. You spend a lot of time on picture on product without any demand. Right. Right. So, so it's like only spend that time on something that's going to really sell. It's like, you know, I, let's think like this. You know, these people that going on the beach with this machine looking for metals under the ground. Right, right. So let's say there are two people, one guy with a machine looking. And when he hear like, tee, 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 he start to dig and spend time digging, right? And let's say the other person, he's just going with a shovel and he's just dig everywhere. Who right. has more chances to find gold? The guy with the machine. Yes. So what you do, you walk with the machine, look where you hear the tee, 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 the sound. And then you put the time in and effort. And you don't just go everywhere and dig and just hope to find gold, you know? What I mean? Perfect. I'm so glad you're on here helping me out. Of course, man. No problem. This I is. Would, I would not have thought of that. This is my pleasure, and it's great. I think we went through most of the things here. Uh, so uh, let's let's go back. Let's open. Can you open a Google Doc? I want to sum up everything. Let's open Google Doc. I want to sum up all yeah. the things for you. And uh, I think we went through most of the things. If you have other questions, we can we can talk about it after we sum up everything. All right, perfect. So let's I'm taking control now. So let's change it to hashtag eBay. Consult. By the way, guys watching, if you want to be the next, you can just write hashtag eBay consult in the comment section below and you may be, win the next session. All right. So, so let's write here a, a, a business plan. If I have English mistake, please correct me or Google will automatically correct me. Okay. Let's make it a bit nicer here. Also, let's make the font a bit bigger. Okay. Perfect. So number one, stop bulk listing. Okay. Okay. Your goal is to build 
سيلف اور رايت او ماي سان كيم يو وان سكند ليف هابا بيمس سيخه هابا بيمس سيخه خمود هيز ريلي كيوت اي سين هيم اون سين سم اوف يور بيكتشرز ثانك يو فيري ماتش جيري وان سكند ليف هابا بيمس عبوده هابا باود ريغا او رايت So as you so stop bulk listing your goal is to build strong high sell through rate. Okay? Okay. Number 2 follow the one second follow the product research method we've been uh, uh, talking about here right right so we practice on the session low amount of sellers and high sales yes low competition high sales low competition let's put here very low okay high sales and then basically you will uh, start to see result very quick and add them i need to add them to my competitor list yes yeah, so we'll put it here build competitor list okay perfect so build competitor list we are talking here about a um, seller sellers you can learn from so and um, it can be seller in your level which is doing well it can be other seller which really work with high profit margins or just a random seller with very high performance you know you need to see okay from everyone you can learn something else if you see seller that is really like work very bad and don't put any effort so you don't have to save into your list but you can still see products in his right. store you, know, you don't need to just just completely dumb him you know i can tell you one thing one of the sellers that i learned the most and also found one of my most best selling products was a very bad seller with a very bad feedback rate few very little amount of products but there was something very interesting he sold three pro- he sold few product it was a small a smallest world smallest smartphones mini smartphones the smallest you have on amazon with with 2 inch screen or something and He was selling them on eBay for hundred dollars and buying them on Ali on Amazon for fifty dollars, forty dollars. And I was, you know, for me it was insane. It's such a bad seller, such a bad performance, and he's selling product with such a high profit so many times. So you know, other people would just skip the seller. They say he's ve- he's very bad sell to rate, very bad figure. I don't going to check him even. Okay, so. Once you see product this should be your first sign you see a amount, high amount of sales you don't care about the seller you you're going to check the product okay right right so if he's okay. selling a lot with a bad a bad seller you could probably do way better as a good seller exactly exactly this should be light a bulb above your head if this guy is so bad and he's selling this product so good what i can do with this product or what other sellers can do with this product right Okay. All right. Now we're talking here about um increase you you increase your speed. Increase your listing speeds. So I mean your your listing optimization speed. Right. Like no more than 10 minutes on an image. Yeah, so let's put it it start from the description. Okay? So set up uh, in the lister inside uh, AutoDS you can set up a oh, yeah. template but don't use the template they offer you right don't use what everyone else use use your own things like you did you put your own uh, uh, header there uh, yeah fi- pu- fix the 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 um, the title to be in the right font everything so you save time you don't need to fix the sizes all the time so it's pull okay. the data and put you in the right size you need it okay got it Okay. 
Okay, you set a description to be ready, and what you do is you just uh, tweak and add keywords Got it. to the main title. Okay, this is all what yeah. you need to do. We have um, uh, no more than 10 minutes for photo is also a lot. Okay. Luckily, we have here the everything which is fixed in the, my my bad English here, but it's all right. Yeah, that's okay. Now it's very important to be flexible. Make decision based on product uh, demand competition. You find a very good product, you can put more than ten minutes, or you can put as much as you uh, you think. Or uh, you find an average product, try to minimize the time you spend. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So so take decision here based on product quality got it but try not to go above 10 minutes so you know prioritize you can create yourself list later and when you prioritize a, a picture optimization most important for you is background so background is number one second to add elements Add elements. Third, to uh, to uh, change the picture, change the picture, and then just say, okay, this is a very good product. I will do all of them. This is an average product. I'll all, all, I'll only uh, put white background and add element. This is, an, I'm not sure about this product. I either not list it at all, either just let's say add element. You know, you you have you, and then you can you build yourself a system in mind, which you prioritize uh, uh, the the photo optimization. Okay. Okay. And basically that's it. I think this is the two things we talked about, right? This is the only two right. things we talked yes. about. Um, anything else? Uh, not that I can think of. No, I also yeah, think we, we haven't talked. Do you have any other questions? Um, uh, not really. I think you pretty much covered everything that I could think of. Um, give me one quick second to make sure. All right, no problem, take your time. No, I, I think you got me on a, uh, a lot to start with that should keep me busy for, you know, a couple of weeks at least. And then uh, I will keep you updated and See if you think I need to change anything else. Okay, one more thing I want to tell you. Now you start with this method to list product. Don't just go and remove everything you already have. Okay? Because okay. it's not like this. Okay? Okay. Um, start grow. So you add 10, 20 products. Let's say you add 5 to 10 products a day. Depends how much okay. you're able to find in the beginning. Maybe in the beginning it will be slow and then you will get used to it. Uh, and then just choose one, two days a week when you look you're out of stock products. Or, or products which haven't sold for a really long time and just remove them slowly. But always list more than you remove in general. So if the whole week you listed 50 products, remove maybe five, something like this. Don't remove much, okay? Okay. Let's put it here. Um, uh, like 10%, remove yeah, 10%. 10%, you know, try to, to keep the growth because every listing, uh, eBay also give you traffic based on your sell through rate, based on your on your customer service, based on your active listings. So it can be that one listing is supporting other listings, okay? And you will see it later in the in the next steps when you start to scale niches, you start to list more similar products for winning products. You will start to see that once you list a new product for the same niche, suddenly you start to get sales from the old products again. You will you will okay. feel it with the time, okay? Um, I have I do have a question. Yes. Um, at what point do you decide to open another store? Like how after you, how successful? You okay, know? good question. I would, I would focus on this. If I start right. to get ten to fifteen sales every day, I will open another store. And then, do you? Would that be a niche store or just another general? You start, store? You start general. You start general and then you grow up to the niche. So, so um, let's write here general, general would, strategy. I mean, would you st on your second store, do you sell completely different uh, niches of products or you just 
find any kind of product, even if it, I know you can't list any kind of products, you, any kind of products. If they start and, link, you're not allowed to sell the same product. You have to make sure you don't list the same. Yes. Right. Okay. But, but let's say, okay, let's say you start with this product here. Okay. You sold it very good, right? Right. It's a quick coat ceramic a coating Carvax. It's a coating Carvax or ceramic right. coating Carvax. So if I will go here, for example, to eBay, uh, let's go here to the product research area right here. Uh, uh, coating Carvax, okay? And I will run a search. I'm probably going to see an issue with a lot of sales. Let's see. And you already know in your one second, you, we will see it. You already know what are the best keywords who, who drive traffic for you here. Right. Yeah, so as you can see here, $14,000 sales. It's not great. It's not insane, but it's, there is demand for this product. And you can also see that the Shine Armor here is the number one seller, and it's actually right. sell by Dropshipper. It's interesting. Okay, this guy here, he managed to rank number one with the same product like you, selling for $24.99. So pr price here is still playing a game. Okay, right. the other guy here selling a similar product, cer ceramic car coating, car polish wax. You see, he used the strong keywords in the beginning, 140 right. sales. Now, you know already this product is selling well. So what you can do, and you know what the keywords that working working very well, what you can do is you can go to Amazon and you can write here the same thing. Uh, coating car wax. And you can see, all right, maybe I can sign similar product, you know, just different brand, but exactly similar one for a better price. And then I can come and I bring something unique. For example, uh, this is $18, uh, all right. You can already sell it for $1 cheaper. And also what you do, you bring variety. You drive traffic from the same niche. Maybe they didn't like this one. They like something else. So the idea is to cover uh, uh, this page. Where is the search that we, we had here? One second. Here is the search. The idea is to have on this result, few of your listings, you understand? One, this company, one other company, one other, one other, different prices, different colors, different materials. And then you cover more traffic. You get, you cover more real estate, more, more advertising, advertisement real estate, I call it. And you get more traffic. Good idea. Thanks. This is step number two. After you build a few winning products, you start to add them slowly, slowly. One more like this, one more like this. And what you do? You have already a winning title, so you don't change completely. You just remove from here, for example, a, right. a, a brand name. You add another brand name. You do small tweaks, but you already have the winning title. Okay. All right. That's it. Great. Yeah, I think we covered everything. Start general, then grow to niches, not opposite. I think you have a great plan here, and it was a pleasure to be here. You are a very special person, Gary, with a very oh. special personality, and it's it's pleasure to meet you. Seriously, you really are nice. special. You are, I mean, nobody does, nobody gives their time like you. I, I just, I, I just can't thank you enough, Nahar. I love watching every video you put up. No problem. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And I'm going to see you in the next Q&A session. You can always uh, uh, send me a message, ask a question. If, if uh, uh, there is something urgent you want to know, you can use the chat. You can ask in the group everywhere. Thank you again. And Thank you so much about caring for all of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It was. I hope, you, have a, I hope you continue to have such a blessed life. Thank you, thank you very much. You're a blessing to us, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a nice day. Number one, understand the market. Number two, understand the product.